Hi, I'm Julian. And I'm Max. After watching the White Guilt video in class, we thought it would be interesting to hear people's opinions on affirmative action before and after watching the video. First, we will have our participants answer a few questions about race and affirmative action. Then, they will watch the White Guilt video, and we will ask them if their opinions of affirmative action and race have changed in any way. We asked our participants to be very honest in their answers, as we wanted to see what college students really thought about these two topics in our present day society. With that said, please enjoy. Short answer, I'd say no. Uh, there are definitely a lot of areas where you can see racial tensions, um, the racial boundaries playing effect on, on people's lives. Um, I think in some, in some places it's more visible than others, but they definitely still exist. Uh, no, uh, because uh, even though it's not as overt as it was in the past, uh, the effects of race are still uh, pretty obvious. I think we somewhat do. Um, Obviously, we've made um, progression, but personally, I feel like our generation likes to think we take a stand on social media just by posting a status or a tweet, um, and they think that that's enough just by saying that's not a good thing or this is a bad thing, but um, I don't feel a lot of us take a stance against it, and obviously, through the news, there's still a lot of racially bad things happening, uh, and so, yeah, I don't think, it's kind of. I, I think it definitely like has its place in American society. Um, I think that in some ways it might need to be refined or reconsidered, but I definitely wouldn't throw it out altogether. No. I don't because I think it increases the way that some people think about each other. Yes, I do. Uh, because uh, I'll use black people for an example. Black people have been uh, disadvantaged for uh, many generations meaning that a black person of equal talent to a white person uh, is inherently at a disadvantage uh, as soon as they're born. Yeah, I do. Um, it's benefited me, so um, I think that uh, it's a very uncomfortable topic to talk about because it obviously benefited me, but I do see how if you're not being benefited by it, you would hate it and you would think that it's not right. I think that overall, the effects kind of balance out for me. Like, I don't think I, I was particularly, my, my status as an applicant for colleges was really affected too much by my race. I think it's had a slightly positive effect on me because I'm part Hispanic, so I feel like that might have helped me a little bit. It definitely like, did a good job of, of representing all the, the barriers that minorities and um, people of lower socioeconomic classes face. I, I understand what I'm trying to say. That, that's, uh, Kind of what I was trying to say with one of the uh, the pre questions that uh, there's a lot of like a long history of discrimination that uh, is why black people are where they are today. It it's like a little bit ex not not exaggerated. It's very dramatic, but it's very true, and I think that's why um, it kind of made me uncomfortable because of how true it is. Uh, these things are not made up, and um, anyone who wants to fight it and say that this is exaggerated or it's this is not true, is obviously lying to themselves because they wouldn't make something like that if that was very apparent. As you do? Yes, but I think it's sh um, a little more um, attention should be given to socioeconomic barriers, um, like um, more of uh, a wealth based affirmative action because that also. Would, would focus on the socioeconomic barriers, like the income disparities that usually hold students back. I think it'd be more beneficial to put more funding and more opportunities to places that are underrepresented and have less um, privilege than other, I guess, um, communities and stuff. 
instead of just having the affirmative action? Um, as of right now, I, I would just keep it, but I think that there could be a better system put in place um, just to make it more fair because if you're a minority not doing as well as someone who isn't a minority, but the person who isn't a minority gets passed up by the minority because of affirmative action, like obviously that's not fair. Um, but it's, it's there for a good reason because they want to see minorities excel just as much as the white person. So I'm sure there's something that could be put in place that could be better. It is apparent that our participants have provided some very similar and dissimilar responses. While there is much consensus that we do not live in a post-racial society, there is less agreement as to whether affirmative action is a beneficial and fair program. We ourselves do not have a definitive answer to this question, but we recognize that it is important to continue with open discussion and inclusive debate about this issue. We hope that you have gained some new insight from this video, and we thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.